All right, here we are back, uh, having just crossed the road, well, not the road, <laughs> having just crossed the river here in Kingdoms Reborn, and the town of Beerville is finally ready to increase its population again ever so slightly. So we do need to build new fisheries, and, uh, well, that'll clear up some card space for us as well. We don't have the best options in terms of, well, efficiency. Uh, there was a spot over here I thought I could build. Where was it? The efficiency is just awful, 80-some percent is not good at all. Um, oh, come on. I think it would be better to build one over this way. We get one across the river. But the efficiency is not that great so far from the sea. Now what I should have done, and still can do, is this. Let's demolish that farm, and, oh, not the trading post, we'll put a fishing spot right there. 140% efficiency, very nice. And we'll just build a farm right around him. So it does decrease our farm size a little bit, but we'll get a little guy going there and that'll be alright. Give me a dirt road. One, two. Let's go there, so let's go here, here, and now we will make our way back out. So let's get the road going over. Yep, hit the mountain. And there we go. It's not the cleanest thing ever, but it'll do. And we really need to get our laborers over here and clearing these woods, because this next expansion is absolutely vital. Um, of course, I do also want the sheep ranch made, because it needs to make... Uh, well, we need to get up to more sheep before we'll actually start getting anything out of it. Um, we're at seven. We could set to kill when we reach half. Because it looks like the wool generation is also from slaughtered sheep. Um, I believe the intention is basically these are food storage. So if you end up running out of food or looking like you're running out of food, you can use them to, well, pad that by saying, okay, well we have all these all these sheep. Instead of slaughtering at full, slaughter at half, and then you'll kill, well, then you'll uh, butcher several sheep in a row and prosper from that, at least for a little while. And this is why we need the hauling services. We're getting close to mid-autumn, and we still have farms left to go, which means our workers need to be more efficient than they're currently being. Now, we do have a bit of gold, and while we are getting still set up on this side, I think it might be a good idea to slightly increase our best fishing lodges, because even small upgrades in the uh, production per season, well, they do stack, at least a little bit. So we're getting 95 per season in this fishing lodge, 70 here, only 24. So really the differences are an extra worker and a productivity book. And that, those two things increase the batch size from 12 to 16 and increase the rate at which we produce the batches. And those just combine to give absolutely bonkers synergy, at least comparatively bonkers synergy. Uh, we are making more money now, and that's coming from just having more homes with, with beer, and having more homes that are level 3. So if we take a look, this house produces 25.3, this produces 16.1. The difference is one additional person, but also the higher tier of house, which itself gives us more base gold per person. It's a pretty good big upgrade. It stacks decently, quickly, better, better than you'd really expect, I, I think. And as soon as we're done with logistics, um, oh, I need to build my clay, and I've used all of my spaces near the river, haven't I? Okay, well, we need to demolish this uh, road, we'll have to make do without it right now, because I need to put something there. Uh, a little bit less than ideal, but we need a clay pit, and it has to be somewhat near the river. Can it go there? Yes. It's the only clay pit we have for right now, and if we take a look... Well, I could get another one, I think. This is just disappointing. Uh, we could get another stone tool shop. It makes good money. I don't think so. Wild card? Buy wood. Ooh, steel. Yeah, we got a steel. Got a wild card and a clay pit. That works for me. And let's take a look at our technology tree. Let's go to upgrades. Actually, 
I don't have a prerequisite. There we go. So, warm productivity is nice. We have a beer tax, we have a homebrew, so we need to get that pottery going. It'll really help us a lot. Um, I don't want frugality books. I want productivity and sustainability books. This is... It's annoying. It's very annoying. That cost on that is far too high as well. Okay, well let's just fill in some of our old tech. We need to get furniture. Um, I would like to buy a hauling services card, but before I can do that, we'll go over to Rowan. Zoom in enough that we can get our... Oh, did it? I really wanted one. 500. That's good. 504 gold from Rowan. Very nice. And the, uh, oh, what is a better way of doing this? Yes, there we go. The hauling services will really, I think, show its worth if we put the thing in the proper location. And that proper location is going to be right here. So we will build a dirt road there. And now this is a central hub from which our workers will be able to uh, bring carts, basically. Uh, and that'll help clear out all of these much faster, as well as maintain a, a supply to and from the beer breweries without much challenge. Uh, and that's a good thing. So, oh, we have some coconuts. Apparently there are coconuts over on this side. That works for me. And, yeah, our foresters are in some pretty pathetic shape. This one's barely useful anymore. Uh, I think we should probably get rid of it, except I don't want it to take up a spot. Trading post, not useful right now. Could use the 120 gold, so we'll just sell that. And now I have two additional clay pits. This is more than I need. We've overcompensated, my friend. Um, because I clearly have never done that before, ever. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. It must be built near a river is just an absolutely obnoxious penalty. And you know what we're going to do? This farm over here is too small anyway. So let's get our second clay pit over here. Um, that's a little bit annoying. There we are. And then we'll get a storage yard. And we'll put the storage yard right against this wall. And now we can build up a little bit of industry over here as well. So we'll get the potter. I want these potters right next to the places that will be producing their clay. So let's get one right there. Oh, okay, I mean, I won't say no to free money, but I do kind of, kind of question why he gave it to me. And our industry here is going to impact the happiness of our citizens in these homes. It's a little less than ideal, but there's nothing I can really do about it right now. And the key thing is getting this additional farm online, so we need that seeded uh, before next spring. And that right now looks to be a bit of a challenge. But we may end up in a situation here where we have to buy some food. So let's keep our fisheries really going as much as we can. And let's see. Upgrade the GCA built. GCA or GCA? I don't know. All right. Um, and now we don't have the iron tools. We need to increase productivity there. That's all right. Uh, get by without it. Do have a lot of fisheries. I don't want to upgrade this worker slot without a productivity book. I'm debating taking one from here. And yes, we're going to take one from there. We're going to put it here and do the upgrades. This will spread things out a little bit so we get the additional productivity. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I think that's okay. If we look, all of these effects are up. Here, so we had 160%. Here we had over 200% efficiency. Uh, and the base efficiency here is lower, it's at 90. But there are worse efficiencies, so I think that's alright. Let's take a look at the tavern. It would be nice. The entertainment value would be pretty good. Let's get that. Oh, three wild cards in the same one. No, I should have taken the hauling services too. Oh, god. Well, 
We will want improved production of coal. I think we're okay for right now. We're gonna run out in winter of coal, unfortunately. Um, and let's get, we could get brick working, but I think, well, hmm, get the library going. Um, we don't have the wood for a furniture workshop, so no, I, I don't want to buy that. Let's get a tavern, and this tavern will be absolutely wonderful for everything around here. Let's just make sure we have these roads lined up. Very nice. And this whole residential section will benefit from that. Um, we need more wood, so our next buy is going to be this province over here, and it'll just become an extension sort of wood harvesting province as well. Um, it's not super ideal, but I think that's the best play. And yeah, so we're clearing out this farm, we're packing up ready for winter. Thank you all for hanging around, and uh, we'll check back in with you real soon with the trials and tribulations of Peterville.